Hello everyone, it's DZ here, and I have another Minecraft commentary for you guys. Uh, I played this uh, world offline, like not recording for a while, so there's going to be a few little different things you're going to see in this video. So, run. Well, first it's becoming nighttime, and yeah, you just saw it. Yeah, I kind of made like a little bit of a lava lamp house, lighthouse sort of thing kind of copied it off some other another youtuber that I watch but his name is Pylops it's not finished yet but just I also made the staircase double step like double wide so I don't fall off easily also made the place a little more roomy made a second furnace and now I have a nice place to watch the sunrise and down there, it's where I get my sand and stuff. Let's see, I have some iron tools. And inside this chest, I have some diamond. Yeah, I went deep down into a cave and found some diamond. I actually didn't expect to find diamond. Found some mushrooms, a lot of iron, actually. So just putting my sword in the first slot, so just in case I ever encounter guy, bad guys, I am ready for them. And I also finished this staircase down. Added this, well not, it's not finished, but as you see, it's just very smooth. Right down there is the tunnel, the little ladder that I made to uh, my nice little cave system. And right now, I believe I'm going to make a farm. Uh, farms are useful when you're playing on hard because pigs are not always a reliable source of food. Like, they don't always drop uh, pork or whatever it's called now. So, always, farms are always a great idea to have if you're going to go adventuring out. Bread is very useful. Heals two and a half hearts, I believe. That is very good. There's a reason why I'm not using uh, my uh, diamond yet. I really don't like using it until I have a nice little stockpile of it. Because I just feel like I waste it a lot on stuff that I don't need to use it for when I can just use an iron pick or a stone pick. So, I believe I start expanding the width of this so I can start making my farm. It's just, right now, it's just going to be two lanes of, of stuff, so. So. I could use some feedback. I'm getting some nice responses from these videos. I actually like have fun playing Minecraft. Always have. So now I finally decide to go make myself an iron shovel. So, because I'm eventually gonna need to use it. And there's enemies everywhere. There's a couple of creepers down there, a spider or two. Zombies above me. The zombies seem to like spawning above me while the creepers and everything else like to, see, like to spawn down that hill. Don't understand why, but not really complaining. I'm sorry, you really, you guys really don't get to see the lighthouse in the video, but I'll maybe show it to you in the next one. I'm not sure, but it, maybe when it's finished.
nothing, nothing's going on right now. Just starting to make my farm. I know it's kind of a little boring. No exciting action, I believe, occurs in this video, except maybe towards the end. So, I was wondering, uh, if you guys want to, you guys can leave a comment saying what you guys want me to build, and in f future videos I will build it. Be kind of interactive, I guess, because I'm only recording one part every day. I'm not, like, recording, like, six different parts in one day, and then uploading them all at different times. Maybe in the future I'll show you my cave system, because I actually haven't finished uh, exploring it all yet. There's a lot still left to explore. Just a little afraid of uh, enemies, because it's dark. Caves are scary. Don't judge me. This is bothering me, so I just got rid of all the dirt. And I'm going to replace it with cobblestone. Also, I'm not so great at this game, and if you want to give me any suggestions, that would be nice. I'm also extremely happy right now. I'm from uh, New York, and the Jets just beat the Colts. Sorry for you Indianapolis fans, but I've been a Jet fan for a long time, and finally happy that they finally beat Peyton Manning after <sighs> how long? Forever? I don't know. God. It was a very, very close game. Jets won by one point. On a field goal in the last couple of seconds of the game. So, I'm going to make the farm one more long, and then I'm going to remove all the... this one, one floor of stone. And I'm going to replace the sides with dirt, and I'm going to go get some... Uh, water and fill up the middle I'm also going to put glass on top of the water I know you're probably like why would you put glass on top of the water I'm not doing that this video I didn't get up to that because I forgot to start my timer so I had to guess randomly when to end the video I'm always forgetting, like, the last two videos I forgot. Because I've been a little bit tired, but... So now, just removing those middle, the blocks in the middle, so I can... That's where the water will go, and then on the outsides, that's where the dirt will go. And if you guys don't know how to make don't uh know how to till the soil that will be in the next video you need a hoe show i'll show you guys how to make it also in the next video i might turn on peaceful not sure but right now it's daytime it just became daytime and i can hear the zombies dying above me, so I'm just waiting for a couple of seconds, and I believe I can see the edge of the zombie to the left, yeah, burning, and if you guys did not know, spiders are always friendly in the daytime, so you don't have to worry about killing them, you can just leave them there. There is a creeper that comes after me, so, not yet. There's two creepers actually that come after me. One that I didn't see and blew up right next to me. In about three, 
two, one, kaboom. This creeper doesn't get to blow up on me, I kill him in the water. I like actually fighting the enemies in the water because they go very slowly and you're able to swing your sword a bunch of times before they can do anything. So just take some water. Not gonna patch that up right now. Just wanted to take some water and uh, make my infinite pool of water. Uh, in a second you'll see how to make it. Very simple. Almost forgot to close my door. Didn't know if there was any creepers around, so. Because there have been times in my other worlds where I've left my door open and a creeper has snuck inside and killed me. So all you have to do is dig a 2x2 two two hole in the ground and put the water in one corner of it and then you have to put another water in another corner and it should make this uh, the spring infinite. Fall into a hole, take some damage, but whatever. Two hearts. It's not going to really make a difference between that when I die. I'll just die a second earlier. Do you know what would be cool if Notch added, uh, Notch is the developer of this game. If he added, like, a sea zombie, a sea enemy, it would make it, like, you would make yourself not feel safe going to the sea. It would make, uh, add another dimension to the game. So, see, infinite pool, it doesn't, it just refills itself. So now I'm just going to take my dirt and line the sides. And now I'm just going to put water in here. I'm going to make it even. It just bothers me when there's currents because it also makes a sound of flowing water. It gets a little annoying. So just placing buckets randomly in in the middle area. And as I said before, I'm going to put glass over it. I'm not sure if I'm going to do that on camera or off camera. I'm just telling you guys that now. Uh, putting the glass over it so I don't have to stand in the water and walk slowly. I can just hit the stuff in the side and uh, quickly just bounce on, get on the, jump on the stuff and pick it up. I know you're not supposed to go on the soil and everything, but... Eh. This works for me, so. Okay, so it's all uh, done now, and this video is coming to an end. And I have one thing le left to say, is just hope to see you all next time in my next video. And we're going to say goodbye to the spider, and then look off into the distance. Bye, everyone.